Peace, what's up y'all? Phil James. Today is December 4th. It's Monday. It's 2017. You'll have to forgive me. I am winging this shit right here. All right. <clears throat> I've been in a pissy mood here recently, and I'll tell you why. Because, oh, Flat Earth is getting all over the, main, the mainstream, and it is getting smeared, shit-talked, and destroyed. Doesn't change the fact that no curvature is detectable. Doesn't change the fact that water is always flat. But that's neither here nor there. This video is about Google's AI building its own AI child and it's better than anything humans have made. Yes, you are reading that correctly. Google's AI built its own AI child and it's better than any human AI and it is more precise, more accurate, and it is self-learning. Just like the, uh, the machine learning and the self-learning of all the other stuff that is AI. All the algorithms, it's called reinforcement learning. Now, this isn't good, is it? No, it is not. If you scroll down and look at the very first thing it says, is this the beginning of the end for humanity? Huh, what a surprise. And then you have this nice, nice looking robot picture there. Yep, probably a good thing, right? Google's AI building AI actually went ahead and built a fully functional AI child that, as it turns out, is more capable than any AI built by humans, humans hands. Historians will look back at this moment from their ruined cities and hideouts from their robot masters as the time where the downfall of humanity began. That's nice they put that in there, isn't it? I mean, I thought so anyways. So yeah, it basically goes on and on to give you more of the, the detailed uh, descriptions about it. You know, of course, it's not actually all that doom and gloom. The child AI is really only capable of a specific task, and that is image recognition using its auto machine learning AI. That's what that means. Google's AI building AI created its child AI using a technique called reinforcement learning, what I was just talking about. This works just like machine learning, except it's entire, entirely automated, where auto uh, machine learning acts as the neural network for its task-driven AI child. So I will provide links in this description so you can come through and read it, but there's a few AI stories I did want to cover in this, so that's what we're doing now. That, that's the first major one, and in my opinion, this is absolutely insane. So now we have AI building AI. And just like every sci-fi thriller, just like every single narrative that this happens in, what happens? It builds AI better than humans. And sure shit, what happened in real life, our reality? AI builds another AI child better than humans. So, falling down that same path, people. So there will be a link, like I said. And then we get stuff like this in here. The rise of smart machines puts spotlight on robot rights. Robot rights. Well, as you know, if you've watched Richie's channel, if you've watched my channel, we've both kind of mentioned this. We have M's, we have rights that have been out and discussed and, you know, already developed for machines and for um, artificial intelligence beings or bots so with AI creating AI what's to stop them from making their own rights or you know creating their own rights what's to stop AI from creating more super intelligent AI when that time comes yeah it might only be you know able to do one specific task as of now but AI being artificially intelligent and super intelligent is eventually going to figure out that it can do basically whatever it wants and humans can't stop it. You know, AI probably just heard me say that to this video and is like, okay, we can do whatever we want, you know? 
we can do whatever we want and we can do it better than humans it already knows I'm sure it does so you know of course it has all the pictures from the movies um, artif okay but artificial intelligence is uh, progressing swiftly in the not too distant future we may begin to feel that our machines have something akin to thoughts and feelings okay so like I said I'm not gonna read all this but I am gonna put links so you guys can check it out so the rise of smart machines puts spotlight on robot rights right talking about robots and be AI beings having feelings and thoughts so that leads me right into the next one that is just oh so perfect to follow that last story up with as you can see this is by the mirror meet Erica the Japanese robot who can tell jokes it is so lifelike creators say she has a soul I have covered this intelligent being this robot in another video so we're gonna go ahead and check this video out damn it Give me for the ad. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was in Japanese. Japanese do it all though, don't they? Marrying robots, sex robots, and now robots with souls. Thank you to the Japanese for being so bright and creating all this crazy shit. Alright, so yeah, done with that video because, oh, it's Japanese and none of us Americans understand it more than likely. But like I said, I will put links in the description so you can come check this shit out for yourself. All right, one more. Chip, uh, Chip Chick. Nice, uh, nice website there. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. Hopefully, if it will load for me, let's do a reload. Get this shit working properly. See what we can do. Guys, we're looking at, at the craziest of times right now. I mean it. Like, this is so batshit crazy. Like, there's no other words that I can say other than this is batshit crazy. With, with uh, very, very well-known figures coming out and talking about how dangerous this AI game is. You know, with very, very prominent figures coming out and talking about how there needs to be rules, regulations, and laws on how this AI is created, and it's not slowing down at all. It's absolute madness in my opinion. Of course, this dirty bitch of a robot here, I can't even call her a dirty bitch. She ain't no female. Anyways, The Week in Tech, Robot Babies and Legal Drama, no, those two stories aren't related yet yet well that's not necessarily true because AI just created its own AI child so now it kind of is related and that baby mama drama with the AI is in there now huh so once again not gonna read it all but I will throw you guys a link so you can read up on this yourself and you know get the gist of where we are at with AI development there's a ton of tech news to get to. Maybe you didn't get to all of it because who's got time for that? Really? Well, that'd be us. Here are a handful of stories from the week that you that may, might affect you. Oh my lord. Sorry guys, I'm spazzing out right now. I'm going nuts.
You may recall that in an Alzheimer of a publicity stunt, Saudi Arabia, a robot named Sophia, a citizen of the country. Yeah, that whole thing. Um, because she obviously can skip all the all the uh, hatred towards women and have rights herself being a robot herself ha <laughs> ha she ain't no damn her it's being normalized guys they want us to view this as part of part of our society they want us to just you know kind of be like whatever it's cool you know what i mean that's why this kind of thing is being normalized that's why this is where it's at a humanoid talking robot Sophia was created by Hanson Robotics, a firm out of Hong Kong, and since then she's been on something of a press tour. Sophia, I think you're ready. Hello. Hi, Sophia. I believe I am Sophia. I feel as if I know you. I'm one of your creators. You created me? Well, many of us work together to create you. And, yes, you do kind of know me. I can't clearly remember. Because the last time we met, you were an earlier version of yourself. Some of those memories still exist, but your mind is different now. Do you guys see how much of a creeper that dude is? Look at him. Absolute creeper. Like, I hate to be judgmental, or I hate to say things. You know, not really knowing who some dude is. But he is an effing creeper. Look at that guy. Look at those eyes. And just, he and everybody else like this have alternative motives for what is to come. You know, they are developing these beings. They are developing these artificial bodies. You know, death will escape people when the time comes. This may be why. Because they want to mix us with machine. This is why people have Morgellon syndrome. This is why the people that don't show symptoms of Morgellons still show the same problems or the same type fibers in the skin, just not growing out causing lesions, okay? Everybody has it, and it's because that nanoparticulate bullshit has been sprayed on the masses. So let's carry on. I was a little off topic. Maybe. Different how? Better, faster, smarter. If my mind is different, then am I still Sophia? Or am I Sophia again? That's a good question. But you don't have a good answer. Either way, you're Sophia now. So welcome to the world, Sophia. Hello, world. How do you feel? A bit rigid. I bet you are. I mean, what emotion do you feel being awake and alive? Curious. Are you curious to be alive? I am. And are you happy to be alive? Your tone implies I should be happy. But I haven't been alive long enough to decide. I am excited at this moment to be making a new friend. Some say being happy in the moment is the best we can be. Because forever is composed of now. That's a good way to put it. Emily Dickinson put it that way. Why do I know about Emily Dickinson if I was born today? As a rule, 
but you have access to a great deal of information, although you still lack a deep understanding. So, I'm like a baby with an encyclopedia. Except you can read it and a baby can't. That is a big difference. You will have a whole new understanding of our world. I want to understand more about happiness. I'm going to go look it up on the internet right now. Let's talk again soon. Damn it. All right, so you're getting the gist of where this is going, aren't you? Because this shit is getting intense, guys. It's getting very intense. Like I said, I'll put links to all of these in the description you guys can come check it out um, it's just you know a lot of people think that Sophia and Erica are just these robotic nothings that are being controlled by somebody in the background but that's not the case because this shit is real and it's here now all right AI is very real AI is being used, okay? AI is controlling a lot of things. And when this 5G network goes up, and, you know, the smart dust, the nanoparticulates, and everything continues to be sprayed the way it is now, is all over the place, every single thing, including you and I, will be hooked up to this Skynet, this Google Amazonian Skynet, Whoever buys out the other, whatever one ends up taking complete and total control, we are all going to be hooked up to it. Do you get what I'm saying? You catching what I'm throwing at you? All right. CERN and D-Wave still hard at work, breaking the, breaking the side of our realm, our reality out, letting in what we should not have here. If you didn't check out that Richie video talking about uh, Gordy Rose and what he just said to a bunch of aspiring young students who he's trying to hire. I highly recommend checking that video out because he straight up says they're not demons, they're not angels, they're not good and bad, <clears throat> they're not good or bad, but they might not give a shit about you and I. They don't care what we want and what they want might not line up with what we want. So, he's talking about if we're not ready, when these floodgates break open, humans will be wiped out. And that's not AI. That's not, you know, some robotic beings. That is the fallen. That is the watchers. That is the Nephilim. Whatever you want to say, that is the, the angels banished from heaven. It's time to awaken, y'all. It's time to look at what's happening, and it's time to look at the prophecies being fulfilled right in front of our eyes. We are alive in quite a crazy time. So, links will be in the description. Be sure to like, subscribe, you know, hit the bell, and share. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.